Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing CK Warrior in the five minute pool on ICC. I will play my second Berlin of the day. I just got done playing a 15 minute game in the Berlin defense. The Berlin Wall, the legendary Berlin Wall. Fun opening for Blitz. Check. You don't have to have the long suffering end game that you usually do in this line. Most players play Knight C3 here. It's not the only move. Rook D1 check is also possible. If knight c3, I'll play bishop d7, but against that, I'll go king e8. Yeah, now h3. Um, there's so many move order nuances in this line, honestly. Uh, I think I'm going to go knight e7 in an attempt to put my bishop on f5, is what I shall do. But, granted, he can play knight d4, but I'll just go here. And I'm hoping to play knight d5, or maybe knight f5. It depends. Knight d5, he can he can take, take, and then play knight b5. So I'm not thrilled by that prospect. So maybe first I should play h6. Just to kick his bishop. Yeah, let's do h6 first. Basically gain a tempo. So I think he'll play bishop h4, and then I can play knight f5 and start freeing myself. Kind of have to play this move. Ooh. Am I going to get hurt? Knight f5, knight db5. C takes b5, knight takes b5. Well, I have knight takes h4 if I need it. No, that's ridiculous. I don't need to calculate that. You can play rook d2. What? You're just going to give me this pawn? Bishop takes c2, rook d2, bishop h7, double up. He's threatening mate, so let's say g5. That isn't right. Okay. You can't do this. I don't think. It's kind of annoying though, like it's um, somewhat forcing line, so like yeah, he's gonna double up now. I have to go g5. Now he's going to play rook d7 next move. So what to do about that? Like bishop e7 seems normal. But I'm pretty passive after that, you know? What about bishop c5, rook d7? Bishop d6. <laughs> or bishop e7, rook d7, bishop d6. Sneaky. Nah, I'll save that. I'm not going to do it. it. He can play rook d7. I'm not disputing that. But I don't know if I'll play bishop d6, even though it will win me an exchange because of e takes d6, king takes d7, d takes c7 check, and that's an annoying pawn to deal with. So I don't think I want to play that. Play that way. Uh, I'd love to play rook d8, but he just takes on c7. Let me try that line again. Bishop d6. E takes d6. King takes d7. Take with check. King is kind of out in the open. You know, that line might not be so bad, though, because I keep his knight at bay. If I can keep his knight chained in, it's okay. So otherwise, how do I get out of this? And he has the option of e6. So it's kind of frustrating. Huh. It's a weird position. All right, I'm going to do it. And hope that I get enough play. It's very strange. I'm pretty sure he didn't see this move. But that doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> So, e takes d6, king takes d7, uh, d takes c7 check. I'm thinking king c8 yeah. is probably what I should do. Even though this, moving my king the other way, I'm worried about rook e1 is the thing. That's what I'm concerned about. Maybe I'll do it once just to see how he'll play. Yeah, let's go here once just to see. Check. And if he goes rook e1 and then repeats, maybe check. now I'll go king c8. Because I want to play for a win. I don't want to draw. 
Oh, but he's going to get into e7. Oh, that's super lame. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know about this. Um, okay, let's run away. Check. Check. Might be too risky to play for a win. With this amount of time I have to. Check. All right. I'm just going to do a draw. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe I could risk it and play like king e7, rook e1 check, king f8. Oh, I don't know, though. Bishop d6 check. I have to somehow win that pawn. I'm such a long ways from winning that pawn. Like, really what I need to do is like play rook c8 with my king somewhere close by, take that pawn. But he's going to make that very tough to do. Um, let's just see. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to resize that board. Let's just see what's going on in this position. Okay, engine says king c8 is slightly better for me. Yeah, m maybe I overreacted to the prospect of him getting rook e7 in. I uh, have five. Okay, trying to cramp his bishop. F five. <laughs> Bishop d6, king d7, rook d1. It's quite complicated, though, and it looks a little scary. And, I mean, my time situation kind of forced my hand on this one. Hmm. Check. Well, Check. I think after rook d1, king e8, h3, maybe this knight e7 move is not so good. Uh, I think in hindsight, probably bishop e7 should be played, or maybe bishop e6. One of those two moves, like a standard developing move. H5 also comes to mind, just to discourage G4. I mean, this is very theoretical, but the thing about the Berlin is, like, in positions like this, there's sometimes two or three legitimate options. Make the position can be played totally different. Pawn on H6, pawn on H5, uh, bishop on E7, or bishop out on B4, attacking a knight on C3, all sorts of stuff. So... But, I mean, overall, the position was not bad out of the opening. Here, h6, the knight f5. Yeah, you know, this line crossed my mind. Knight, knight b5, either knight uh, d or cb5. It's interesting. Because uh, if I play rook c8, I get Check. embarrassingly made it like this. Checkmate. Just like the duke and the count against Morphe. <laughs> um, but... I saw that I could take on h4, and I saw that this would lead to like an interesting imbalanced position where, yeah, I have two minors, but my pieces are pretty clogged up. They're all on the king side. <laughs> Computer says this position's dead equal, which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, that would have been a, a real interesting option. I don't think he considered it at all. But there are some um, Berlin Wall positions where that can happen. Yeah, so, interesting line right there. So knight f5, he just chopped it, and I was expecting rook d2, and I was probably going to play bishop b4, I was thinking. The only annoying thing is after he goes here, I can't castle. <laughs> I've often found myself in Berlin wall positions um, where I've wanted to castle so bad, and I just have to remind myself that I can't, <laughs> by virtue of the move 8 decision. Or really the decision to go knight d6, go into this position altogether. Okay, but it's good to know that I could have played g5, king e7, or bishop g3, king e7 here. Yeah. And maybe I'm a, a little bit better. I have the bishops, c2 is weak. I'm still kind of a novice in the Berlin Wall. I haven't really had a chance. I haven't played an OTB yet, strangely. I've played knight f6 on move 3 before OTB, but I haven't got into the Berlin endgame before. It's a little frustrating that he blunders a pawn, though, and he actually gets some play. This rook d7 move. Looks like bishop d6 is the right call, though. This is a clever move. Check. 
Yeah, just uh, if I was going to go for the win, I would have had to made the decision earlier. No, none of this wishy-washy stuff. It's tough though, King C8, because like, in order to win this pawn, I have to do something. I don't know. It seemed to me that I was going to have to reorganize my pieces. Like one thought was playing B5, A6, Rook A7, and then take the pawn, because I can't make any progress until that pawn is gone or neutralized. And this dark square bishop is a great piece. So I'm, I'm okay with the decision Check. to accept the draw. Certainly, Check. certainly when I have this Check. little time left, it's the draw is fine. I mean, if I play on, I'm probably going to be seriously regretting not taking the draw like five moves from now, because I'll have like under 30 seconds left. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that brief but eventful game. And I'll be back tomorrow with another Blitz game. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.